我命不好，一个人什么都要做，自己煮饭、擦洗房子，啊，还有要自己吃饭，还<笑>有自己洗衣服，然后自己还要穿衣服，哦呀呀，真的好累啊，<笑>然后要开高尔夫、高尔夫车，好累哦，哎呀，大家好哈。你们辛苦，别抱怨哈，抱怨应该是本娘啊 ，OK。呀，要老了还要打扮，还要穿衣服，不打扮的话，那个那个照相会亮啊，懂吗？谁上电视都要打扮，不是我而已，哎，总统那些都一样啊，知道吗？啊哈哈 ，OK， 一心的人呢？啊 ，OK，OK，、okay. okay. 我本来今天要晋升给你们一心了，不过有别的恳切的事情，所以所以派那个那个常驻了 ，OK 哈 ？I don't understand 哈。I originally wanted to do it personally today, the initiation, but something come up, okay? Something come up urgently, urgently. I mean, I mean really, really urgent. Sorry, okay? But the the uh, the resident will give you initiation. Just think of me. It's the same, huh? At least you can see me. How many people initiation time can see me? You know, you lucky people, huh? Good luck, good luck. That's why I told them to to bring you sit in the front. Okay, you wanna come sit around here? Yeah, come quickly, quickly and quietly. Don't make a lot of noise and dust. Hey, 大家好。Only the new one, okay? Because they probably don't have chance to see me again. Who knows? Yeah, you've seen me a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Ni hao, man yoi. How are you? Come on, talebu. We get. All is good. Okay, that's all I can. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Oh, also Spanish, but there's no Spanish today. Yeah, some Spanish there. Ah, oh, come on, start. Bien. <laughs> Good. Alora. Alora. Yeah, I told you last week that recently I I met a a group of people, you know. They're from France. I met a group of people, and then uh, one one of them liked me very much. You know. <laughs> I told you already. Because <laughs> he asked me if I'm married, I said nope. I said I have a boyfriend. I said nope. And he said why? I say I'm old. Nobody wants me. <laughs> so I said no, no, it's not true. I want you. I want you. <laughs> the Westerner, when they look at the Asian, they don't know how old you know because they are. Much older than their age, and we are always younger than than our age. So they think I'm still very young, yeah. You know? And they don't know I have so many children. I didn't tell nothing, of course. <laughs> I told him I'm a cave woman, a cave person. It's true, huh? You understand? I live in cave, right? Okay. They don't believe that. <laughs> They're just laughing. <laughs> okay. The truth is sometimes difficult to believe, eh? Yeah, it's true, huh? Because uh, I don't look very sophisticated. I am not high tech, you know. Okay, okay. Let's talk about something in heaven because this earth is sometimes really, really make me fed up, <sighs> frustrated, frustrated. And then out of frustration, many people do wrong things. Yeah. Otherwise, originally, all of you, any of you. 
all came from very high level of existence. Some of you have had some, uh, you know, other other bodies, you know, physical bodies. Some of you don't. It depends on which planet you come from. But all of the planet that you have come from are much, much, much more sophisticated than this one, much more comfortable. Life is more, uh, I know, high standard and very, very well organized. But unfortunately, any planet is just a planet. There will be a ruler somewhere, okay? And there will be ruler, and there will be a government, and there will be rules, and governed, how you say, society. And then if you are a little bit more smart than the ruler, smarter than the government, smarter than the power that be, there, you know. I mean, these planets are not, I'm not talking about a liberated planet, okay? I'm not talking about where are you going, where you are going to be, okay? Uh, that I'm going to take you. That, that is not a planet. That is a spiritual plane, you know, of existence. And there you don't have to wear physical body anymore, no matter in what shape. Huh? Yeah, you'll be surprised if you visit some of these uh, planets. They might be very highly sophisticated in technology, superior. Everything we have here is even the best now is still garbage <laughs> from, you know, like from other plan. The reason, okay, the proof that you came from a highly, more highly sophisticated planet and a better quality of life is that you are here. Understand? Because if it's not for that, you will never be able to come here. You are sent here, you are exiled here by high technology and by some soup <laughs> that you drink <laughs> before you came. They force you to do it. Every country knows this kind of soup is famous. They all drink it. And some people remember. Some people maybe drink the last one and there's only very little left, so they still have a little memory. <laughs> anyway, these planets, they are very mostly very rigid in nature, you know, very orderly. They don't like any revolutionary, they don't like new ideas, they don't like uh, genius, not too much. If you don't work with the government and not devoted to that God, that ruler God, then you are in trouble. Maybe they warn you at the time, or maybe they just send you down. So somewhere else, somewhere else that is not in their planet. They don't like anything that give, uh, give rise to idea of, you know, changing the system, uh, observe the, the thorn, or, you know, something like that. Just almost like in our planet, except they have more technology to control. And there's nothing the ordinary citizen there can do, except to accept that situation or to be gone somewhere else. Many people on this planet, sometimes they are awakened or sometimes they remember in their dreams, on their vision, what they have done before. They remember the technology. But even they remember the technologies here can never compare to the original planet where they came from. Hmm? The planet where they came from, they have also invisible beings and visible beings. The invisible beings have more power than the visible being and more prestige, and therefore they control, you know, like first-class citizens. And the one with uh, physical bodies normally is doing manual and work and uh, kind of... is. It's nothing very important in this society. And, and who this, you know, lowly class <laughs> in those planets, if they try something different that uh, upset 
the government there or the ruler, then they will be exiled to, for example, our planet. Before, we were even more controlled by some of the other planet systems. They have higher technology, understand? They, they have higher power of hypnotism, so they make us forget everything. And we cannot get out of this planet at all, except by any master who comes down and takes you, you know, by the inner, inner road, not outside. But any master who comes down here suffer a lot, a lot, or die early, like Lord Jesus. Understand me? Huh? Yeah. Mm. Even Buddha, at that time, eh, he suffered a lot, a lot. Slander, you know, injury, and sometimes starvation and all kind of trouble, you know, just to name a few. Uh, because these people, these masters, they're trying hard to help those who are really desperate to go home, because they don't know where they came from. Just tell me where you come from. Do you know where you come from? Are you sure? Mr. Darwin, he said we came from uh, monkeys. It's not true. We don't look anything like monkey, do we? Maybe some, but <laughs> one or two or three, but not true like that. Even those people, there are some people who look like maybe, I don't know, orange utang or monkey a little bit, primate, look like, not because they came from the monkey or they evolved from the monkey. It's just because they are made this image in, in our planet, we have many companies, understand me, yeah? Okay, we make computer, computer companies, software companies, uh, and nowadays they even try to make ship, <laughs> you know, cloning company. Uh, soon they might be cloning humans. I don't know what kind of Frankenstein they are going to make, but they are trying to be God, you know? They're trying to, <laughs> to feel like a God. So anyway, because they remember in some other planet before, they used to make something that works, that runs, that talks, like us, or like the animals that we see. These companies, when we still have this uh, intergalaxy system, you know, uh, connecting before the, the, the galaxy war, we have interplanetary system that people can order stuff, you know, just like you order a computer from. Microsoft or Apple, you understand? You can order online <laughs> or go there and look at the, the, the goods and then okay or not okay to buy. Yeah? So in the old time, uh, many planets similar to ours which were empty, when the planet uh, begin to cool, when any, any uh, galaxy uh, comet or any so-called clump of gases gather together and then begin to cool down and then solidify it, become a planet like this, then it's empty, understand? There might be some micro, micro you know, small things or I don't know what, <laughs> but it was too hot, yeah? And it's gassy, nobody can, no solid uh, ground to walk on or to act to do anything. And then many planets, people, begin to, to like control that planet, the new one. Anybody can go first and get it, just like we have a new land or something like that, we claim for us. Even people nowadays claim the moon and sell it, sell one piece at a time, yeah, the American. Don't you know? You can buy moon. Not the whole thing, too expensive, but you can buy a piece of it, <laughs> depend on where and then how much it costs. Yeah? Okay, really, there's a movie star there, I even bought them. I was thinking to buy some in case I'm fed up with you, I run over there, <laughs> hide. <laughs> no, but what for? I don't mind, I like this planet, it's okay. Wherever I go, I just like it there, truly like that. And this is a problem with me, that if I go somewhere, I don't like to move anywhere else. Unless I have trouble or unless I have to go for some reason, I don't want to go nowhere. Be it a cave, a natural cave with just a very sparing water, or be it just a 
beautiful building or be it on the sea or on a mountain, uh, somewhere that people don't even want to stay, even in a desert. I live in a desert once. I never want to move anywhere because <laughs> I just feel comfortable right there. Yeah. I live in a cave and then some of the residents told me, why don't you live in the other house? It's more comfortable. It was built for you. I said, I'm just so used to it, <laughs> so lazy to keep moving things, you know? Cave don't have a lot of things, but still have to move. Moving house is one of the four major stress. You know that, right? <laughs> so I'm not moving my cave. <laughs> So I told that man I'm a cave, cave person, and he just laughed. <laughs> anyway, is it true, huh? Okay, never mind about that. I just want to scare him off, huh? But uh, he doesn't understand. I don't want to tell him who I am and what I do, so, so I stopped right there. If he knows, maybe he's scared off, but I don't want to just tell anybody where I'm going. I prefer to be anonymous. It's more comfortable, you know? People treat you normally, yeah. They don't overacting or underacting, or they don't oh, tell you a lot of stuff that you don't want to listen. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, we go back to the apes. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the King Kong. Yeah. If somebody happened to look like one of our primate friends, that doesn't mean that his parents evolved from there or has anything to do with the King Kong. Mm? Okay, you look at the movie. It's not like that. Okay, it's not like he loved Jane and then he took care of her and then maybe some little King Kong will come out of it. It's not like that. No, huh? mm. we cannot evolve from from animals because they're different different makeup. You understand? Yeah, the soul is the same. Just maybe the different shape. Okay, fine. We don't have to evolve from the animals because we already are human. We are made in human shape. So our DNA stays human. And if we pass on to the next generation, it is the same DNA, it's human. Capico? Capish? Capisco? Understand? Okay, so the reason why that guy or that girl look like one of our primates because he or she came from the same company that made humans and, and uh, apes, you know, are these uh, King Kong at the same time, same company, same artist, same artist. Therefore, he, he likes it that way. So he made uh, apes and the human sometimes look similar. Understand that? Huh? So sometimes we look at the monkey and we look at ourselves. And I thought, oh, I look the same, no? <laughs> it's not like I came from there, okay? Yeah. And many of the, um, mostly 99% of you and people out there and animals are spaceshiped from somewhere else, come to the planet, when the planet was still uh, in the virginity of created pattern, yeah. So, and then, first they have dinosaur and all that, okay, and they feel it's not very good, and then they make a flood or trouble so that the dinosaur die out. And then the planet uh, rulers or inhabitants, invisible at that time, can fly, can have magic, can do many things, feel like lonely, they need something else. They don't need dinosaur anymore, so they order some other thing. So it's up to the artist to create something, and then they go and, and look whether they like it or not. And so they like many planets like us, like this kind of, 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 of look is very fashionable. Yeah, yeah you'll be surprised, because many planets don't have people like us. They have physical beings, just maybe they can walk and talk and do things like us. Many also like us, but before, before humans were created, they were not like that. They look uh, different. Maybe, I don't know how to explain to you, maybe you can look at uh, Lucas, you know, the planet war of, uh, how do you say, forgot, Star Wars, something like that, and it looks similar. <laughs> okay? Truly. So, we, the humans, are the most beautiful creation, truly like that. 
Oh, I've seen them. They are not as pretty. I mean, my my opinion. Huh? I mean, the, of course, the beauty is in the eyes of the uh, admirer. Eh? Sorry, sorry, but I think, in my opinion, still humans are the most beautiful of all the physical beings, the most complete. You know, with delicate nerve system, yeah, with intelligence, with creative power, even with magical power. So you know, some people still have magical power. It's true like that, because they came from other planet which has magic. We use magic all the time for anything. And then, so some of them are here, and somehow they are awakened to their ability. It just awakened in in them by some of the extraordinary circumstances, or they go to learn with some elderly who already know the magic, with the lineage, you know, and then they already have it in them, they awaken in them. All of you really also some more or less have some magical power, but you are already locked in. You already erased all the memory of who you are and where you came from and what you can do is all finished. So that's why at the time, time of initiation, I told you, if you have magic power, don't use it. If you awaken to it, don't use it. Because then you might be attracted back to your planet, which is not an enlightened planet. Understand? Enlightened planet, they don't need to use magic. Everything is natural. Like Jesus, you know, somebody touched his clothes and then they're healed from a very uh, grave disease. And they praise him and thank him and say, Your faith heals you, or God heals you through me. He doesn't use it. So anything that you derive from me before or after initiation or during initiation is because it's all came out naturally. Understand? They don't even need to recite any mantra or do any mudra or do anything uh, on purpose to heal that or this person or to help this and that person. This is too troublesome. If to use magic, it's too limited. Understand me? Limited. You can only use, use it to some people, maximum maybe ten people, but you cannot use it for anybody, any time, in any situation. And automatically, you know, it doesn't take even a nanosecond to happen. Magic power, it takes longer. <laughs> And you have to practice very long time to memorize the mantra, to do this, you know, posture, to all kind of thing, for many, many, many years in order to master that. Except some people who has a natural, magical, uh, has ability because they are awakened to their own nature before before they came to this planet. Maybe they're just newly arrival. <laughs> from uh, from uh, other planet you know being exiled yeah sent down and cannot return anyone who sent to this planet are doomed forever stay here do whatever you do try not to make trouble because you make trouble you have more trouble you never can return to your own planet because they rejected you already that is a problem that's why you cannot go back except a master who come down from higher level, you know, know the way and know the secret and know, have enough power to do it. Because this planet is locked in, you know, with, uh, with this all kind of, of high-tech power that it seems like magic, but it's not this planet. This we so-called, the one we so-called Maya or, or devil power, they are not really a devil power. They just have, they just have technique. They just have mind power, control power. Understand? They learn it. Is is you can learn also. Many people can teach you hypnosis or walk on the hot coal without burning. You know all that, right? And many people can also teach you how to make rains when it's not raining and can make wind or can make trouble or something like that. Sometimes earthquake or typhoon out of season or out of nowhere because some people are playing, you know, havoc, making havoc on the planet. 
just for fun or for some reason or maybe competition or just to harm somebody, okay? And then other bystander also get trouble and get harmed by it. Anyway, I don't recommend you to learn any of this kind of magic. Even white magic, white magic, meaning if you have it, you cannot not use it. Very difficult to control. And even white magic is interfering with the nature, with the natural flow, and then the... and it will be backfire. Hmm? At the moment, uh, sometimes the other planet, they sent, you know, bad but vibe to our Earth or to other planets, just to cause trouble for some reason. Hmm? Or sometimes they want to take some human body to live inside there. That's why some people, you look like they are possessed or something. There is something like that. Hmm? And they control the minds of the people, sometimes make them do some terrible things. They, when they wake up or they awaken, they don't even remember what they did at all, truly like that. Uh, anyway, why I'm talking so much about something that you don't want to hear, right? <laughs> Do you want to continue listening? Okay, okay. Now, even if you want to go back home, even if you remember something and you want to go back home, you can't. As soon as you get out of the body, Some uh, high-tech personnel will catch you, catch the essence of you, the soul, and then put you back in another body again and make you forget again. Hmm? Understand? The magical power of this kind of mind control only lasts me around hundred-something years. Therefore, they, they don't let you live long even. <laughs> if you live long, something will happen. Also, make you die quick. Yeah, there are some uh, some extraordinary people who can live longer. It's true also, but that doesn't mean they are liberated from this uh, physical planet. Huh? Oh, by the way, in our planet we also have invisible beings. You know that, right? We call ghosts or spirits. Uh, a lot of people see them. Yeah, the same like other planets also, there are some invisible and visible beings. But not all of planets look like us, huh? Okay? Yeah. And when they come down here, make, maybe they can use magic for a while to make them look like you or like a beautiful girl for a while, but they cannot keep that forever because it's illusion. Or they can push the soul of somebody away and then they take uh, over that body and then cause trouble or do something. Sometimes not trouble, sometimes trouble. Yeah. I mean, take the body of a light person, huh? not, not dead person. If the person dead already, okay, it doesn't matter. Huh? <laughs> okay, nobody owns that body, the body becomes useless, then maybe if you want to use it, okay, for some good purpose. But sometimes they just push people away because they have power. And that's what I don't like. They harassed our planet people. That's what I don't like. That's why we have war and we have suffering and we have a lot of trouble. That's what I don't like. That's why we have bad government controlling freak governments, for example. And that's what I don't like. Because people suffer. People suffer enough already that they have to inhabit this body and never can get rid of of it. I mean, if they die, they get another one, and they don't even remember the life they just passed, not to talk about the life, you know, a uh, hundred or thousand or millions of light years, light years away from here, because they've been poisoned, they've been uh, mind-controlled to forget. Because if they remember, they will come back and revenge. <laughs> Uh, I doubt it if they will be successful because the government control system is so tight, tighter than any of the system on this planet. If you think any of the government on this planet are very fanatic or very controlling, it's nothing compared to what they control in some of the planets. 
They cannot tolerate even one inch of difference, of rebellious style, or of some creativity that they deem unfit. And then they will exile that person or that group forever here, or another similar planet. But here is more easy. <laughs> here is more easy. Many other planets, they have high tech already. They control their border. They don't let anybody come in. Just same like this one, same like this one. Before, before a uh, long time ago, yeah, maybe a thousand years ago, they put up uh, this kind of, or just say radar system, okay? Because I don't know how to explain this. Some kind of borders, yeah? all around the planet. And only the people they want to be here can be here. Yeah? Uh, even the, one, the agents who work for them and all that. Otherwise, uh, no one can come and go. But now, that kind of system, that kind of, uh, we call Maya, uh, devil system, devil controllers, is being almost kicked out yeah, by some other planet with more high-tech. <laughs> but then, still, their system, the control system, the radar that they put, you know, the invisible radar, but the superior, superior quality, superior high-tech, that none of the planets, other planets, has been able to break through. Therefore, we are <laughs> in prison here. Huh? Me, you, okay? <laughs> Except we can go in and out some time in our soul, and that is important. After today, after initiation, your soul is free. You are free man, free woman, free being, absolute. But make sure you adhere to the guidance, okay, the guidelines, so that you don't make give excuses to these uh, bad, uh, how you say, troublemaker beings can control you again. Understand? Because they have rules everywhere. Mm. And once they control you again, it's difficult to meet a master or somebody who can guide you back. Okay? The master don't guide you back to where you came from. It will be gruesome. They will <laughs> execute you. They will persecute you. They will make trouble for you. So we we'll bring you to a better one, you know? the enlightened, free, and compassionate, merciful. I mean, in that world there's no, not even a vocabulary of compassion or merciful, because there's no need. <laughs> it's just normal like that. Keep the rules on this planet, okay? Do not harm others. Not harm, including killing, of course. Huh? Not just killing, but harming, also no good, okay? Not harming people, not stealing, not tell lie. Not, uh, not doing uh, bad uh, bodily contact, okay? <laughs> not doing any bad, uh, uh, how you say, uh, Woman or man, anatomy, an <laughs> body anatomy, uh, study too closely. <laughs> okay, and what else? Don't take intoxicants. Huh? Yeah, if you do at the moment, try to do it slowly, uh, slowly, slowly, quickly. <laughs> Avoid. Huh? Okay? Yeah. Uh, anyhow. Mm, keep the rules so that the, the Maya, the devil force, don't notice you too much. Understand that? Because they're already so used to it, uh, punishing people who don't keep the rules, even ridiculous rules hmm? on their planet. So don't provoke their attention. That's why a lot of masters, when they came down on the planet, they normally don't, don't openly teach disciples. Understand? Unless they want to die quick huh? and die young. Yeah. Most of them die young, die quick, or die horrible death. Hmm? Even in India, some sick master has been harassed to death, you know, and losing everything they have and their life also in such a horrible way. Many masters are like that. 
because they know they have to be quiet. Yeah, quiet. Because even the the greatest, the most powerful master come here, he alone. Understand? Cannot take too many people down here to help him. Besides, take whoever come down here, they will forget. <laughs> they will forget what they're supposed to do, including the master himself, herself, in the beginning. Understand? And then it's very hard for that master to wake up, even. So you see, most masters don't wake up until in their twenties or thirties. Yeah? They're not born and then immediately sit there and teach in everybody. Did you see any? Huh? Well, even if they do that, <laughs> the government probably will take that master away, put into some of laboratory, and to probe, poke and probe them and see what happened to this kid. Do you understand me? What happened? What kind of kid? Must be a devil incarnate. You understand? And that kid cannot live long. I assure you that. You know that, right? Mm. So mostly the master teach very quietly. Small ki- small disciples. Even at Buddha time he already teach open enough. But his disciple amount to maybe thousands, ten thousands the max, okay? Maybe at that time the the transportation, the uh as a communication system are not as good as now also play a big role, huh? But uh, nowadays even many masters they, they don't go very far, they don't open too much. And anyone open if he is a real master, if he teaches the real liberation he, it, if he really saves souls, then he has a oh, hell of a life. Any real master have a hell of a life. Even not die, but, you know, die and live again, and die and live again, you know, sometime sick or something, like 90% almost die already and then come back again, okay, okay. It's not easy, yeah, because this planet has been controlled by, by this kind of force. You know, controlling force, um, extreme force, dictatorship kind of system. And we have, we have been shifted down here by them. Yeah? More or less we are still belong to them, still under their control. And at the moment, some, some planetary meeting are going on, you know, often to think of the way to do something, to, to invent, you know, try the best to invent something, to break this spell. Because we don't know technology, so we think it's this kind of spell. It's a curse, you know what I mean? Or it's a kind of magic. It's not really just high-tech. So I'm not scared of them. Whatever they do, just high-tech. What a big deal. Yeah? I also don't know computer. I couldn't even move a mouse. But I'm not scared of computer technology, right? They have theirs, I have mine. Yeah, I don't need computer. I have people who can work on computer for me if I need, but I really need anything. I don't contact anybody. I have hardly time. <laughs> and now I don't have telephone as well. Wow, freedom of technology. I don't have anybody around me really like that. If anybody around me at all, they are making more trouble than help. So I have to work alone. Sometimes I wish I have one person at least around me, just for some convenience, you know, drive car quickly, and so I don't have to call taxi, I don't have to wait in the rain for the car or for the taxi, but I just can't. Up to now I don't find anybody who can, <laughs> who can get on with well, <laughs> you know. Yeah, because they take too much of this uh, mental derangement system, from from other controlling power, and they feel confused around here. Many people came from higher planet. Mostly, most of us come from higher planet. Higher technology doesn't mean higher spiritual. Eh? That's different. That's different. Therefore, a person who can invent 
high technology or super computer doesn't mean he's spiritually enlightened. Huh? You know that for sure, yeah? So, same, same. This kind of power, I just know how. They just have high tech, but they use it for bad purposes to control some of these inhabitants on the planet as well as the one that being exiled here. This is a bad intention, bad manner, very rude, very uh, undemocratic, and I don't like it. So after seeing so much like this, I really don't like it. So I decided to give you initiation again. So lucky you. Hmm? Should thank God. <laughs> I know very well that I might be going to suffer one way or another, but I will do it. It doesn't matter. At the moment, I, I'm high enough, so even if I die, it's okay. But it's better I don't, because uh, our planet is still not stable, huh? Not stable, huh? And my kids not grown up yet. Not all of them grown up. We still make trouble every day. Mommy, this, mommy, that, master, master, each in here, master. Oh, a little cut, master, help! Oh, bleeding, bleeding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Master, my car kaput. Master, my alarm clock don't work. Wake me up tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah, so that you can wake up on time, go to work, and earn a few thousand dollars per month. Hmm. Yeah, it's good, but your precious time, eight hours a day, ten hours a day, just for a few thousand dollars. Hmm? Well, you need it anyway, but still, imagine if you can use that to do meditation, huh? Okay, it earn a lot more. But never mind, we are on this planet, we have to do something, and we also own that to the society to pay back, huh? in some way or another. Even I am also working in different way, huh? Different way. Yeah. Even I also try to earn my own money. I don't spend a lot though. Mm. I look like I wear a lot of nice clothes, but this is all my, my creation, pretty cheap, you know, homemade. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just cost some of the, uh, how you say, the material cost, you know? Even design jewelry and all that, no? Yeah. But we have to pay for workers, yeah? pay for the tax for the company and uh, etc., huh? all related things. So it costs more than it usually should cost. But for me, uh, it's my stuff, you know? <laughs> Just nowadays I don't have a lot of time anymore, so you see me wear less and less. Huh? No jewelry, no headgear, no handgear, no nothing. Huh? I don't know, maybe soon I don't wear nothing anymore. <laughs> Well, I already wear nothing in my own place. That's why I don't let anybody go around me. Yeah, nobody. They just make trouble. I save a lot of soap and machine, you know? It lasts longer. Save a lot of water. Because, for example, here in Sihu, everybody come and take water from my land. This water is not come from government. We dig some wells and store it in the in the, uh, in the, how you say, water tank, uh, for you, to cook for you, to give you some water to eat. And the running system, the, the running uh, stream here, I designed so that it recycles the water, that's all. It's not forever running, huh? It came from our well. Of course, the running water has more uh, oxygen in it, it's, it's nicer. And don't take it unless you really need it. What for? You come here every week. Hmm? You are not sick. Huh? Even you are, you are sick, you think the water will heal you? Does it heal you? Anybody? Yes or no? Huh? Yes? Some of you, yeah? It's your faith, no? How can the water heal you? Hmm? Okay, maybe it's special water. But if you're not sick, don't take it. Okay, if you believe that the water heals you when you're sick, take it only when you need, okay? Otherwise, at one time we drink water with sand in it. I mean, we, m me and the residents, long time, well, a few years ago. 
And then also we cannot have water to cook for ourselves after you left. The drink to cook, we had no water at that time. And we have to dig more wells. But I don't know how much the earth can supply because the water needs to also water the roots of all the plants around here, okay, in the land, neighbor, neighboring land. Hmm? Uh, so in summer, we also don't have a lot of water, that's for sure, huh? Hmm. Okay, so take it easy, huh? On the water system here, huh? Okay? Yes. And then we also, our residents are taking care of the water systems. Make sure it's running, make sure it's clean, make sure it's not blocked, and it's uh, good enough to drink. But our residents are becoming older and older, like myself. Yeah, sometimes in the dark room, I look beautiful and young. I thought, wow, you still look good. Hmm. And then when it's in, in the real, <laughs> real sunlight, I thought, oh dear, who is this grandma? Grandmom, <laughs> gram gram. <laughs> Sometimes I look young in a different situations. So I like to stay in the dark room so that I can look, you know, in the mirror. It doesn't, the wrinkle don't show us too much. Anyway, okay. So after initiation, try to meditate as much as you can. Huh? If you want to get over the water, then two and a half hours. Okay, because we had twenty-four hours a day. Two and a half hours, more or less, like it, okay? You should do half an hour uh, on the light, and then so that you're ready, cleanse, for the, do the, the sound, okay? And the sound you do as much as you want, up to three hours on the stretch. And then you do the light. Because most people, they just sit and do the light, and they're too comfortable to sit there all day. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, Master, sorry. <laughs> Meditating, meditating, meditating. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> Should feel awake, okay? Leave some ice water or something next to you. And sprinkle yourself. <laughs> In old times, some people leave their hair long so they can hang their hair on the, the beam. So whenever, uh, I cannot, you see? Maybe that's why I grow my hair long. I'm just too lazy to go to the hairdresser. Actually, I'm very cheap master, you know that? I do my hair myself. Huh? All the styles you see on, on the TV, anytime, anyway. It's just, I did it all by myself. I dye my hair also by myself. I wash it myself, of course. I style it myself. And the most lazy is like this. Okay? Or oh, just put it up and zip with the crocodile teeth. Chuck. Also, do, it's okay. Yeah? Uh, and then I do makeup by myself. You know, many people who go on TV, you know, to talk, even ordinary people on an interview, they do the special artists make up for them. Huh? I do everything by myself. And sometimes I have to wash my own clothes, iron my own clothes, to make me look good in front of you. Hmm. So I'm very cheap, yeah. And even I go out to eat in restaurants sometimes because for some reason I don't even like to go out to eat. I'm lazy. I like to stay at home all the time. Cave, cave woman. <laughs> but sometimes I go out to eat. Even then I go out to eat. It's so cheap, you know. <laughs> Only vegetarian, uh, very cheap, and I eat not too much. So I can afford to give a lot of tip. And they all like me very, very much. Uh, even if before they don't care about me, after I eat, uh, after I give the tip, ah, the face change, you know. Glitter with happiness <laughs> and surprise. Oh, how come you're so generous? I say, why not? You give me a lot of food, so <laughs> I give you a lot of money. Huh? Yeah, but if I told you last week already, if I live the way other people live outside, you know, then I have no money at all. I have no money to send Kuan Yin messenger to your countries. I have no money to buy even this piece of land for you. I have no money for car. I have no money for giving charity. Nothing left. I have no money for SMTV. Nothing. You think all that money came from some sister and brother? No. For me, for my business. But I just don't have it in my name. 
they are guarding my my treasure. And then if we need, you know, I tell them send here, send there. I tell FG to tell this and that, to send here to help, send there to help. And sometimes I take money out and help myself. Help them, not help myself. Help them myself, you know, anonymously. And because of, uh, I, I, I'm a cheap master, eh? you can say that. Eh? <laughs> Low maintenance, yeah. Yeah, all the clothes and jewelry I wear also because of advertisements to sell. Hmm? I'm also a model, even that. Huh? Not only I don't spend a lot, I earn a lot. <laughs> Therefore, I can do many things, I can help. But after I invite some group and they eat, because they, they don't eat vegetarian, and in, inside that hotel there's nothing, I, very little vegetarian. I, they say they, I invite them, I cannot tell them, no, you cannot eat this, you cannot eat that. I can gently say, I'm vegetarian, if you want, you can join me today, vegetarian, but they don't. Or they eat meat, they eat fish, they eat all kinds of things, and then they drink wine, you know, expensive stuff, and it amounts to a lot. I'm thinking to myself, if I live like that every day, whoa, I have nothing left, not even this clothes to wear. <laughs> Okay, at home, if you are alone, you don't have to wear a lot of clothes. Therefore, you don't need to turn on aircon. Understand? Yeah, you take a good cold shower and then you just discard all this uh, beautiful dirt <laughs> on you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful dust, pink dust or blue dust. or Yeah, and then you just stay by yourself like the day you were born. Hmm? Yeah, dance around, feeling free and happy. There are many communities, they don't wear any clothes. I know one, uh, I've, been one I've been to one before. <laughs> I didn't know before I came there. They took me in California to buy a piece of land, a new piece of land. They didn't like the, the land I offer. It was, I bought it for them before when we don't have a lot of disciples. And they have more and more and they want a new, new, new center. So, okay, I went with them to have a look. When I come in, Oh la la, <laughs> I came inside the gate, oh la la, who greeted me but some Adams and Eva, so beautiful little Adams and little Eva, uh, old Adams, a young Eva, they all, you know, naturally dressed and happy. It's their community, they do what they want inside. In Spain, I know one couple, because I also looking for some place, you know, uh, before, né? when I don't have so many so-called disciples, like now. Uh, I also sometimes need to go somewhere. Don't have a meditation center, so I gotta look for a place. I know that couple, they, they sold that place for me. Long time already, yeah. It, it's not in my name anymore. <laughs> uh, I mean, most of the place, after I buy it, after a while, the disciple took over and it become in their names also. And they take care also, yeah. They manage my money, my house, <laughs> my place, and while I'm running around having to live in a hotel, cheap hotel, you know, cockroach hotel, because some um, high-class hotel not always have room, okay? Yeah. Uh, mostly people, when they go to any country to live in a hotel, they are business people, important people, or they're on holidays. They, they afford, they can afford, you know, high-class hotel. Uh, they can pay. Therefore, high-class hotel mostly always full. And even if you can get in a few days, you cannot stay long. You have to change, either change room or change uh, to another hotel. It's inconvenient. But I had to live a life like that often, because I have nowhere to go, nowhere to stay. I do have disciples around there, but they don't have room for me. That's for sure. Many, most people, they buy houses for themselves, you know? They buy two, three rooms according to how many children they have, and then so, where do I go anyway? Huh? I can't stay there, <laughs> take off their room. <laughs> and so it's not so simple, my life, not as simple as you think. Anyway, so if you see me living sometime in one of the high-class hotels, please don't criticize. Don't tell the newspaper or anything. It's not that I want it. I don't care if I live in a cave or not, or in a high-class hotel. I just need somewhere to stay for that moment, for some reason. Yeah? 
not always for myself. Okay, all right then. Uh, what else did I want to say to you? What was it before that? Before the hotel, what was it? Ah, oh, natural, meditate, okay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. You speak Vietnamese like that? <laughs> Grammatically not correct. Hmm. Hey, nowadays they don't speak Vietnamese anymore. When I read the Vietnamese nowadays, I thought, what is that? You know, what kind of language is this? <laughs> it's not the one that I used to. Okay, never mind. They understand each other and there's no war and that is the best thing. No matter what, how you speak, as long as there's peace. Yeah? Among you, any of country, as long as there's peace. doesn't matter what language you speak. In Switzerland, they speak like six languages. They put six languages in their official document, any document. Or, or, is, it the, or is it in the United Nations? <laughs> or is it the European? Anyway, whatever. They, in many organizations or many countries, they have many languages. They still have peace with each other. Switzerland, for example, they don't speak one language, at least three, Italian, French, German. They don't fight. They're the best, one of the best in the world, peaceful, rich, yeah, harmonious, safe. Hmm. <laughs> so it doesn't matter really. Hmm. Okay, uh, what was that before? Meditate? No, I wasn't talking meditate, that was last year. Hmm? Hmm? What? What la? No. Oh yeah, don't criticize me. Okay, but that. What before that? Huh? Orange juice, if you tell. John Sao Ah, okay, okay. Economy mm-hmm. for the world and for the water system. If we put too much detergent into our water uh, system, then it will. Uh, then it will, uh, you know, pollute our system. It cannot be washed away. Eh? Any poison, any chemical go into the water, it cannot be gone. Understand? In the air, maybe it can dissipate, but in the water, how? Just stay in there and recycle again, again and again. This is terrible. So take care of yourself by taking care of the planet. It's a little bit late now. We should have done it long ago, but better than nothing, okay? Better keep it as is and not worse, nah? Do the mosquitoes bite you here? The one who stay long? Yes? A lot? A lot, a lot or little? How many per day? How many mosquito bite you per person? <laughs> huh? One, two, three mosquito per day? More? Five? What? No? No count. A lot? Oy, oy, oy. Sorry. You don't have some non chemical thing, non toxin thing to spray? Okay, uh, she who. Yao mai, mai the, mai, mai the dong si the ren mai, na, tuo mai, ishe na ke pan, pan, Pan wun zi, okay, fang wun zi, okay? Bu ko bu yan na jong tu de, okay? Uh, bu tu de, zi ran de. Uh, Gei tong siu yao de hua, zi ke yi, ke yi yong. Mm. Before, in the beginning, when I lived here before, before you came, uh, before your invasion, uh, there's also a lot of mosquitoes, but I, I don't even, maybe there are a lot, but I never see them. They never bother me. And I live in another mountain also, I live in ten, actually. We only built a cave, you know, I mean, uh, maybe twenty years ago, before that. Less than twenty years, maybe, I don't know, twelve years, fifteen years. Uh, before that, we live in tents, yeah, and we live more in nature. We cook outside in the nature, simple, and we live in tent only. And I hang hammock every day. I don't sleep in a tent even, only when it's too windy or the rain comes then fly inside, <laughs> then I go in the, the tent to zip it to be dry. Otherwise, I just hang a hammock under any trees and I just sleep day or night. I never had one half 
of a soul of a mosquito visit my skin. And now, I don't know, you bring in all kind of things. My body is full of flower, face. It heals some and then it, a new one come in again. You know, I was still dreaming to become like a movie star or something, but now I give up. <laughs> Not because I'm old, but because too many mosquitoes. <laughs> Unless they want to hire me in to, to play a role of a gram gram in some, uh, how say, uh, mosquito infested region, you know, then I'm suitable candidate. Yeah, I don't remember mosquito ever exist in my life. I live in some, you know, swamp, swamp area, and a lot, uh, I don't know there is mosquito, or I don't know even there's uh, small sandbox, nothing. I only know it because I beat the life out of my assistants or my nearby people. Oh, the, the whole face was full of uh, big, big pimple like this. The whole face, one of the men, you know. He came from Costa Rica, he's still alive, so I'm not telling science fiction story, no? Oh, his whole, I don't know the body, I don't see the body, I see the face or the neck and the hand everywhere. People like this, not one, not one millimeter don't have. Oh, terrible, and I said, oh my God, then we have to move away from here. You will die if we continue to stay here, we cannot stay here. Understand? My dog's no problem. I even had birds at that time. I was so naive, you know. What a life is to have dogs and birds, <laughs> rescue dogs and all that, bring them there, but they don't bite the dogs and the birds. I was worried because I see the men and I thought, oh my God, the dogs and the birds might also die soon, you know. But they don't bother them and they don't bother me at all, but especially that guy. Wow, the whole body, whole faces. Oh, I was worried he's going to die or or he's going to be, you know, bumpy like this forever. <laughs> but luckily, we have medicine, and then it goes down. But I never set foot to that island again. I love to live on islands. I love to be away from it all. This is just a naive dream nowadays. How can you be away from it all? They have airplane, <laughs> they have radar, they have research. They can pinpoint where you stay. Yeah, but a few, ten years ago, I'm still that naive, yeah? Live on a small island all by yourself, you know. I bought an island so cheap and then just live a few, one day only and then run. Because <laughs> I don't want my uh, assistant or my, you know, together, my group to be killed by the mosquito or the sand bugs over there. It was horrible. And nowadays they, they don't, they're not polite to me anymore, the mosquito or the insect, they, they, they bite me any, anywhere. This is terrible. Uh, also, also we didn't have mosquitoes before, huh? and before uh, the animals, they don't have to eat each other. They don't have to eat each other to, to stay alive, to reproduce. Afterward, you know, the, the one that create them wants it that way, so that they don't have to take care of them. They just do it, take care by themselves, you know? They don't have to make anything for them to eat anymore, they just eat each other. And then they survive whoever the strongest, thing like that. So it's a horrible system. I hate this, I don't like that. And then, and then they make humans crazy out of frustration, you know, because the humans, this race of humans, they came from a higher society, you know, they were free thinker people. At, there are some high-tech inventors, scientists, healers, engineers in their homeland. And then because they make some mistakes, they have been excited here. And forget everything, forget all the talents they have, forget all the freedom they have, and forget what glory their being was before they came down here. But somehow, in some little remote corner of their mind, they feel something is not right about themselves in this environment, in, in their own situation. So they feel very frustrated, and that's why nobody is happy on this planet. 
and then we bicker with each other, we backstabbing, we make war, we steal, we lie, we compete, you know, to the extent of killing each other or harming each other because of all this frustration inside. No answer to the question, where do I came from? Where did I come from? What am I doing here? Why am I here? Etc., etc. Okay? So whenever you are feeling frustrated, and you should know that your memory has a little weakening, okay? Try to calm yourself. If you feel frustrated, lonely, trouble, just go meditate. Take a shower if you need to, meditate, and listen to some nice music that you like. I listen to my talk. Choose the one that smooth talking and praising, not the one that scolding and telling you do this, do that. Not at that time. <laughs> when you're depressed, you just listen to some of my romantic music, yeah, or I listen to the story like today, like I say, how good you are, how glorious you have been, and you are just a victim of some wicked system. That's why I got very mad. I mad at them. The more I'm mad at them, the more I'm loving people, I mean, or being on this planet. So I decided that, okay, regardless of a few, some of you are bad, bad eggs, I still continue to give new people initiation in the hope that they really awaken themselves and then free themselves forever, forever and ever and ever. And then they can go any planet they want. They can reincarnate back into human body if they want to. But they don't have to be forced to do that against their will and then imprisoned in this you know, horrible planet forever. It looks beautiful from the outside, okay? But our planet is full of fire underneath, yeah? Boiling. Not just boiling, but extremely boiling almost like the heat of the sun. It came from, you know, boiling gas. So the outside is cooler. Maybe the inside is some crust and crusty cooler, but a lot of, you know, burning fire is still inside there. So we have a lot of stuff like, you know, earthquake, uh, volcanoes, mm? and then therefore influence the water and the the ocean and all and on top of that some of the planetary humans awaken to their uh, old habit of invention of the knowledge of destruction and invented some bombs and testing here missile there H bomb here you know and whatever bomb next there disturbing the atmosphere, killing the uh, ozone layer, not completely, but, you know, injuring, injuring the protective layer of our planet and changing the ecosystem, destroying many things slowly or quickly, is some of them irreplaceable. Many of the species are gone beautiful one, gone. And no one can replace them again. Not even now, you cannot even order from the older company again. Not all company, no more. Just like some company, <laughs> they go bankrupt, or some company, they don't make enough profit, so they close, just like in our planet. Hmm? So not like you're thinking, okay, never mind, you know, maybe uh, another day, or maybe, maybe we have magical power, we can create that. You do have creation, creative power. Sometimes you can create one human or two, or one bird or two birds, if you have a pattern, or if you remember what you did before. But it's not the whole species like that. We're going down on the scale of, scale of, of you know, variety, which is Many of them are very beneficial to our lives. It beautifies our planets in any case. 
It was more beautiful before when the animals don't eat each other, when we didn't fight with each other. But sometimes the um, out of frustration and being, how to say, uh, whispered inside or uh, uh, inaudibly by these uh, negative, uh, wicked uh, beings, then we do bad things. And we don't even know. So many criminals, so-called criminals, have been imprisoned unjustly. The one who should be punished, you should, who should be uh, imprisoned, is these baddies, uh, rotten eggs, wicked, wicked beings from other planets. Understand? They've been controlling this planet for, a, for many hundreds of thousands of years. And before that, there were different systems at the time. And the last system, uh, mostly gone, just so many machinery is still around, and nobody can destroy it yet to free our planet. And nobody can stop this uh, poison that's been fed to the souls after they leave the body. Nobody can do it yet, except by the way of the Buddha, by the way of Jesus, you know, direct implementation, direct uh, communication, direct awakening from inside. Outside we cannot do much, inside we can, because we are souls. And souls and souls there is a passage to connect with each other. Just like even simple speaking television, you know, you can look at television from thousands of miles away, from across the ocean, over the mountains. So how to talk about the soul cannot communicate is a joke. It's a joke that a soul cannot communicate with another soul. But we've been blocked, you see. There is a passage, passage here. You can go home from there. If, and when it's open, you're free, free. Once it's open, you're free, that's it. But you have to continue walking to your home, you know, drive, walk, fly, whatever, okay? Go home, that's it, you're free. After initiation, you're free, free, free. That's all I can do for you, and that's all I can promise you. Ah, behave yourself, be good. I have to go. I'm a little late already, but I go. Thank you. Xin lỗi mấy đồng chí Việt Nam không có nói nhiều thứ tiếng một lần được, ok? Tôi của chị, bu nận chàng thái gì đó, ok? Mấy sự chiên. Bye bye là hả? Hey. Hú sang chào cụ, ok? Chị tự, yêu chua hậu. Ôi, yêu chỗ đó, ôi, yêu yêu sư chính. Ôi, yêu sư chính yêu chua rồi. I have thing to do. Chào, chào, chào. Chào mấy đồng chí, ok? <cười> ok. Ok, sư phải là Chào chị ạ. Tôi của chị. I'm sorry. It's a uh, it's very lucky that I can see you today really already. Okay ha. Huh? But I have thing to do really really. Not just inside but outside, you know right? You know right? N nobody is free from work. One way or another. Okay? Protect me, okay? With your meditation. All right? <laughs> Help me by helping yourself, so I don't have to, to worry about you. I don't have to spend too much of my power and energy on you, and then I can take care of myself better. Capish? Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Sorry, guys. I love you. Oh, I need